Cuban National Rebellion Day is being commemorate, commemorated today. And many of us, even those in the Caribbean, do not know the significance of the day to nationals of the Republic of Cuba. Today on Culturally You, we have resident ambassador of the Republic of Cuba to St. Kitts and Nevis, His Excellency David Rivero Perez and Telka Daniel Wallace, president of the St. Kitts Nevis Cuba Friendship Association to explain Cuban National Rebellion Day and the relationship that has been forged between the two countries. Ambassador, what happened on Cuban National Rebellion Day? Well, uh, Cuban National Rebellion Day, as you mentioned, for, for us, uh, just the uh, 26th of July. Okay. Uh, it's a day of very good remembrance. Uh, that day, uh, a group of Jones, led by Fidel Castro, okay. assaulted the barracks uh, uh, Moncada okay. in the eastern part of, uh, of the, the country. Okay. And uh, was the idea was uh, trying to uh, defeat the government okay. of the former president, Fulgencio Batista, okay. who uh, they take the president with the cop. So, mm -hmm. and uh, the idea was uh, to restore the constitutional order, okay. constitutional order in the country, and uh, start to build in a better Cuba. No? Okay. So uh, this is uh, why we celebrate because it's the the beginning okay. of the last stage of our battle to get the real independence in okay. Cuba. Oh, okay. So it was a fight for independence in Cuba. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Ambassador, please yes, continue. Yes. It, it, it is not a, a revolution day. The revolution okay. day was in uh, January uh, 1st, 1959. Okay. But was the beginning of this, uh, this uh, battle uh, to get our really free country. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So what happened after the rebellion? After, the, after that, well, uh, our... Our revolutionaries, some of them uh, got uh, in prison, and some of them were uh, murdered at that time. And uh, Fidel, in his, uh, Fidel was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. In his uh, self-defense, he uh, prepared document uh, named La Historia Me Absolverá. It means okay. the history will absolve me. Okay. In that time, he uh, denounced the problem that Cuba had at that time. For example, he speaks in this important document about the problem of the land, the problem of the unemployment, the problem of the health, education, and the housing also. Because uh, I can share with you, for example, at that time, uh, in Cuba, uh, around 6 million inhabitants, 3 million 500 live in poverty. Uh, live in very bad condition. Uh, one, millions of people uh, don't have uh, electricity, don't have power at home. Uh, illiteracy was very high level, almost 40% in Cuba. And of course, the poor, the poor people doesn't have the, the right to go to, to properly attention of health or simply to study. Mm -hmm. So what happened with the revolution? Based on this plan of Fidel, uh, start to get uh, new measures and start to create a better Cuba. For example, uh, the urban reform, through this mechanism, the government, revolutionary government, uh, give lands to the peasant, to the farmer, mm -hmm. to produce food and contribute to the development of the country. At the same time, uh, the, the education reform Establish a free education in all levels for everybody. Mm -hmm. Same in the primary school, high school, or the university. Uh, of course, the health, the health, free health for everybody yeah. in every level all, all over the country. In education, it's important to mention that uh, the literacy campaign. What was that? Was uh, a group of uh, young teachers, some of them. Children, 12, 13 years, travel all over the country mm -hmm. to teach, to read, and uh, write yeah. to the Cubans. Most of them very humble people in bad condition, as I mentioned, but with a lot of love. 
what happened? In one year, we declared Cuba as a territory of free literacy. Mm -hmm. And of course, with the pass of the year, uh, some of them turned engineers, doctors, and yeah. that contributed to the development of the country. Nice, it's nice. a very rich history. Yes, Thank you for sharing indeed, that. Indeed. So, Talca, any positive takeaways? Does it speak to the strength? Any positive takeaway as it speaks to the strength and determination of the Cuban people? As a matter of fact, um, we here in the region know very mm. little about Cuba. Yeah. I, the first time I went to Cuba was in 2005 okay. as part of the, the I program. Mm -hmm. And I subsequently traveled five other times. Okay. And we in the Caribbean region only know what we are told by North American media, etc. But the takeaway that we get from this important day mm -hmm. is that from time to time over the history of mankind, mm -hmm. persons have had to fight mm -hmm. for freedom, fight for the persons who could not fight for themselves. Mm -hmm. And so as we look at what Cuba has accomplished under Fidel, and other leaders, we ourselves have to take an example and to say we have to, to stand for what is right mm -hmm. and what is good for our, our countries mm -hmm. and humanity on a whole. Okay. Because if you do not stand for something, you will fall for anything. anything. Yep. And so we want to commend Cuba mm -hmm. for the positive role model they have played Mm -hmm. not just to our region, but to the world. Yeah. You will have contributed so much to mankind, yeah. and it is very much underplayed. Yeah. But um, today, we want to say in St. Pizza Neve that we recognize the contribution of Cuba, not just to St. Pizza Neve, but to our region yeah. in the area of health, mm -hmm. in the area of engineering. Mm -hmm. And just like in Cuba, 68 years ago, we had our own challenges where yeah. we did not have persons who were learned in medicine. Mm -hmm. All of our doctors were either from high society or from overseas. Yeah. And Cuba has afforded us the capacity where they trained so many of our nationals to be experts in the field of medicine, yes, engineering, yes. teaching, etc. Yeah. So the revolution was the day of rebellion started a revolution yeah. that has impacted the whole world. Lovely, lovely. Yes. How National Rebellion Day is celebrated every year in Cuba? Well, uh, National Rebellion Day we celebrate every year because uh, it is our way to renew our commitment with mm -hmm. the heroes, our homeland, and uh, the commitment with the, uh, the compromise to uh, continue building. Mm -hmm. a prosperous and sustainable Cuba. How we celebrate? Well, every year uh, it is select one province of the country okay. and uh, we prepare, uh, we, the government prepare an activity, central activity, okay. and the president used to go there and uh, address to the nation. Okay. So after that we have different celebrations, but I remember Fidel many times doing it or, or around the country after Fidel Raul Castro, mm -hmm. and uh, the, no, our current uh, leader and president, Miguel Diaz Canel. Actually, right now, it's taking place the, 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 act, the activity in Cienfuegos province in Cuba. Okay. So, this is our way to celebrate and remember the generation mm -hmm. that uh, started fighting for the, our real freedom. Mm -hmm. Is there lots of food at the celebration too? Mm, yes, yes, in different places, <laughs> but it's, it is more political. Okay, more, okay, more political. okay, got you, got you, got you. Okay, so Telco, when did the Senka Tanivis Cuba Friendship Association start and what was the objective of it? The, there was a Senka Tanivis Cuba Friendship Association some years ago, okay. but it went dormant. Okay. In 2009, it was the 50th anniversary of the revolution. Uh, 2008 or 2009? Yeah, the 50th. No, nine, nine. 2009, it was okay. the 50th anniversary, and I was part of a delegation 
that went to Cuba okay. um, from the government of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we traveled around Cuba, and it was such an impactful visit. Mm -hmm. At the time, the ambassador to St. Kitts from Cuba was Anna Maria. Okay. And when we came back, um, she asked that I help to reorganize okay. the Friendship Association. And the main objective of the Friendship Association, one of the main objectives was to provide support okay. for the parents mm -hmm. who would have sent students okay. to study in okay. Cuba. Because, you know, as your parents said, yeah. it was a no-no to no, go to no. Cuba. Mm -hmm. And so we um, set about to, to provide that support yes. for our parents who had students in Cuba. And it was also a way to um, exchange, cultural exchange mm -hmm. and historical exchange. Because before that, before my going to Cuba, I went in 2005, as I said. And before my actually going to Cuba and seeing around yeah. Cuba, you, it was an awesome experience. Mm -hmm. And so I, at the Friendship Association, we had persons from all walks of life. Yeah who were interested in learning about Cuba mm. as part of that initial um, friendship association. Yes. We develop our articles of association mm -hmm. and our objectives and our framework. And we were able, we, were, we have been very successful yeah. in teaching and sensitizing the general public about Cuba and what Cuba means to our country yeah. and to the region because even though we have persons who have studied there, persons who came back and are professional and are doing well, we still that have that um, North American teaching okay. that Cuba is not a place that you want to go. But in the meantime, when you go to Cuba, mm -hmm. you see people there from North America, yes. you yes. see people there from Canada, you see yes. people there from all over. And so you realize that even though we are taking it serious, other persons know better, right, yes. you know. They're experiencing, mm -hmm. experiencing it for themselves. Yes, so our Friendship Association started in 2009, and our membership was about close to 30. Mm -hmm. But over the period of the COVID, mm -hmm. you know, everything went yeah, down. Yes. So we couldn't have regular meetings, and so we are just now catching oh, back. Oh, okay, good yeah. stuff, good mm -hmm. stuff. And to, to add, we had the celebration of the rebellion on the 24th, okay. and it did have food. Oh. It should have been there. <laughs> I should have, I should have, I should have. I should have. All right, so Ambassador, uh, what is the state of foreign affairs between St. Kitts, Nevis, and Cuba? Right now? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we established the relations on 1995. Uh, exactly 10 of May. So from that time, we developed a very good relation uh, between both the country and based uh, mostly in the cooperation sector of health and education. Of course, it's, our, uh, it's the will of uh, the government mm -hmm. to increase this cooperation in other sectors. Uh, for example, in agriculture, in uh, sports, for example. And in case of help, helps, uh, Operation, uh, we have a medical brigade working in St. Kitts from uh, 2003 till the day. Okay. Actually, the, the current brigade is composed by, by 15 members, uh, 11 here in St. Kitts working in the hospital, mm -hmm. not only doctors, also nurses and engineers. And four of them are also in need. Yeah, nice. So, uh, very good result of work and uh, and very good opinion of the government of the work of our specialists. Uh, we have to, to tell also the importance that a brigade of 34 uh, specialists who traveled to St. Kitts during the pandemic with the idea to trying to stop the spread of the yes. COVID pandemic in the, in the country. They were working here around a year and a half, but already, already uh, departed to Cuba. So in case of, in case of uh, education, you were talking about that. Many Kittishan and Nivishan 
studied in Cuba, yeah. most of them medical uh, uh, career, but also engineers, uh, yeah, teachers. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, for us, this is very important because it's not only our contribution in, in St. Kitts, it's in the yeah. Caribbean, yes. in Africa, in, we have in Cuba the Latin American School of Medicine. The name said Latin American, but student for around the world yes. student there. And this is part of our agreement of cooperation. Okay. And as I mentioned, the idea is to try to increase the possibilities, more cooperation between both of countries. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so before we go, are scholarships open for students who may be viewing at this time? Are scholarships the Cuba yes. open at this time? Yes, it is, it is, it is open. Uh, okay. We already share with the authorities of the government okay. the capacity for this year. Actually, it was uh, in press. Okay. I, I read the article of the scholarship. Yes. Okay. So we are waiting for, for to inform to Cuba the the mm -hmm. candidate for this this course. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So congratulations in advance to whomever will receive those scholarships. Yes. 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 That's very good. Yes. And well, we want to thank you for taking the time, of course, to share with us about your rich history yeah. and, of course, the collaboration between our two nations. We're grateful for that insight. Thank you once again. Thank you to Thank you for the invitation. Always. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. More Much good appreciated. Morning. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> More good morning, SKN in a moment. Please stay tuned.